this is Jeannie at Trini Tree and today I'm going to show you how to make a bow. I did one a little while ago and I used my iPhone to film it with and the a video didn't come out the right size so I took my bow apart so that's why my ribbons look a little wrinkled. I used some scrap ribbon that was one and a half inches in width and this is just a very good way to use up scrap ribbon and I going to show you how to make an easy bow and then I'll show you that I put it on even though this is gold metallic and some, uh, I'm going to use it for an autumn um, pumpkin wreath just a small bow to put it on top of a, a pumpkin sign that's on an easel that I can just set on my tabletop so all we're going to need is three different styles of ribbon each one is an inch and a half in diameter in width and 18 inches in length. I went ahead and chevroned the ends of my ribbon and the way that you do that is just take your ribbon, fold it in half, fold one more time and then cut on this folded edge and then you wind up with your finished ribbon on each end and you need a Chanel stem. So the and then something to measure with. And I have just a measuring stick. It's actually a Lowe's paint stick that I use. And I'm going to measure with that. And I'm going to make, this is not going to be a big bow because I want it to go on this pumpkin sign. So I'm going to start out just picking up a piece of the ribbon, fold it in half, and I'm going to make a four inch loop. So I'm going to measure on my measuring stick, my four inch mark and just pinch that up so I've just made a loop with tails and I'm going to hold that in my hand and then I'm going to pick up another style of ribbon fold it in half get my four inch loop and I'm just going to stack it right next to that and just pinch that up and just keep holding I want to keep my loops all the same size So I'm just alternating my ribbon between the three different styles of ribbon. So now I've got one loop of each style. So then I'm going to start back over with a different loop. This ribbon came from Trini Tree. And like I say, this was just some scrap ribbon left over from another project. Uh, but you can, we have, I think at Trini Tree, we have over 2,000 different styles of ribbon. Uh, Trini Tree is a website that my daughter Carrie and son-in-law David Martin own and they sell all sorts of wreath making supplies and seasonal decor. Um, they sell the work wreaths, the mesh, ribbons, wreath kits and signs, Halloween, Christmas, Easter decorations, just everything you can think of. And they ship. It's not a brick and mortar store, it's just a website store. So if you're watching today on YouTube, I wish that you would leave a comment let me know where you're watching from and if you have a business go ahead and put your business link out there if you make wreaths or centerpieces or creations and things go ahead and put your business link out there because you never know who's watching the video that reads the comments it might be looking for something that you do and if you shop with us on Trinity Tree we have just recently added quantity discounts so you can get mesh uh, quantity discounts and uh, work wreaths quantity discount. Okay, so I'm going to just move that uh, measuring stick out of the way. Making bows is messy. So I've got all my ribbon loops held in hand and I'm going to take a chenille stem. I'm going to go right around where I've been holding that with my fingers. And I want to just, I'm going to secure that just as tight as I can get it. So I'm going to, sometimes you can do that tighter with the chenille stem than you can with wire. I'm just going to twist that a few times. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to take um, some of my tails. I want to bring some of my tails to the back and some of the tails to the front. And I want to make sure that my ribbon is right side up. So, I mean, I want my face of my ribbon showing. So I'm going to take like a tail to the back and a tail to the front, tail to the back. This is quite a handful 
And you don't have to get, you know, every one of your ribbons uh, tail to the back and tail to the front, but you want to divide them out to where you have some to the back and some to the front. Okay, so what I've done, I have uh, three loops of each color. So I've got three polka dot tails to the back, three gold tails to the back, and three of the natural. So I've got three coming to the front also. Okay, now then, I'm going to take that chenille stem that I had, and I'm going to go ahead and go, those are my tails on the back, I'm going to bring that chenille stem under those tails on the back, and I'm going to twist that one more time. That just kind of keeps those back tails in place. This is a technique that I've seen Julie Samako with Southern Charm Wreath do. I think she calls this a funky bow. And it's just such a great way to use up your ribbon. And, of course, you can make this bow any size that you want. So now we're ready to just fan out our tails. Make sure we've got all of our tails with the ribbon facing in the right direction. Just kind of spread those out a little bit. And then fluff out these ribbons. Fluff out these loops. Okay, so now you have a bow. This bow measures about, well, it's about eight or 10 inches. Um, and you've got your Chanel stem on the back that you can use to secure it with. And there you go. Of course, this is a lot easier if you're using ribbon that doesn't have a right or a wrong side. And that way you don't have to worry so much about, you know, getting your tails up right. But anyway, just a small, quick bow that you can hand tie, not using any tools, and use up your scrap ribbon. There's the pumpkin that I put the bow on. It's just an easel back pumpkin sign. It's got a little bit of gold glitter on it and a little bit of gold glitter edging. And it has an easel back, so you can just set it on a tabletop. Okay, just want to show you what that looked like with the bow on it. Thanks for dropping in. We hope you'll come visit us on Trinity Tree. It's trinitytree.com. And we hope that you'll subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook for YouTube for where we do some lives, and follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram title is uh, Trinity underscore Tree. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.